so you guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl tamara today i just wanted to discuss with you something more on a serious note we are talking a little bit on diarrhea in infants and how you can treat diarrhea if you have a small child that come down with some sort of gastro because you know children will often time put things in their mouth and you may not be sure what it is so they may end up with a diarrhea now there is, this is kind of a funny but scary situation for me my little one some time ago end up with a diarrhea i think it was gastro um from i don't know it just, he just went to um daycare and he came back home the next evening he had a diarrhea um in the middle of the evening after he was picked up from the school so the, the day before he was not feeling well but we gave him a little bit of fever medicine and everything was fine so he went back to daycare the evening when he came home still had fever we gave him something all of a sudden you know it just went all down ill in the morning and i had to try to give him something so i contacted the pediatrician who you know they will inform you about giving them some sort of oral rehydration so from pedialyte so we did that and nothing was happening so within the third day i said you know what i'm going to take him to accident and emergency which i did take him there he got some medication but to no avail he was not feeling better so we're in to day five and everything is still going downhill we ended up um taking him back to the pediatrician after taking him back to the pediatrician we stopped the first medication that he was taking we started giving him um probiotics which was the enterogermina when your child has diarrhea there are certain things that you should not be doing so one you don't want to be giving your child anything that is sugar sweetened no sugar sweetened beverages you don't want to be giving any milky products as well because that will aggravate the situation you can give things like crackers or toasted bread things like that is okay um they, if they will still take food you could give them maybe you know things like chicken or fish but you really do not want to give anything milk products or may have dairy in it um we weren't giving anything of the sort so we gave gatorade which is what a, it can be used as an hydration salt as well if you are um thinking of giving coconut water you have to make sure that this coconut water does not have any added sugars because this can be a problem as well so we were given more um gatorade and pedialyte and sometimes he will take some crackers and that was about it so he started to lose weight and that that's where the problem began so i tried giving him broth he would take a little bit of that but to no avail now you guys what i realized did the trick for us is when we started adding some ginger to the gatorade you guys so in the morning i gave him about four ounces of the gatorade with about a teaspoon of ginger to it and i realized he started to do a little better then midday i decided to give him some more with the added ginger as well he took that and i think because of the 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 peppery flavor of the ginger he did not refuse it so he was taking this and i realized he started to do much better so he started to be a little bit more free-handed and playing around so i realized he was feeling um a bit better so what i did was i also added the enterogermina to the pedialyte so what i also did was i added the some of the ginger to the pedialyte as well this he took by evening he was doing so much better and we're talking into day five day the morning 
he took a little bit of ginger tea as well and I realized by mid-morning he started to just play and by mid-afternoon I decided you know what let me just up the ante with the ginger a little bit more so instead of putting like a small one teaspoon in there I put like two and a half teaspoons into a six ounce um, cup of the Gatorade and I gave him this you guys by 7 p.m. he was rushing his daddy for some of his food he started to by the time his father was offering um something that he was making to the kitchen to the kids my baby was running towards him and we know that he likes his food so whenever he's not eating we know that something is wrong that was the end of the diarrhea for us with him and this was all thanks to adding the ginger to the Pedialyte and also to the Gatorade. So what I started to do is to look more in the, because I know ginger has its anti-inflammatory properties, but when I started looking into more research on ginger, I realized that ginger can also help to alleviate symptoms of diarrhea. So if you have your child, I'm not saying, this does not negate you seeing the your primary care physician or your pediatrician if your child has a diarrhea or it depends also on the um how badly the diarrhea is so if the severity of the diarrhea depends on what you should do because really and truly if it's really bad you really need to go to the hospital i realized that in preschoolers school age children adults as well because ginger is an anti-inflammatory it also is good for um helping you to manage and also alleviating the symptoms of diarrhea so this is something that you can look into and it's a natural source so therefore as long as it is used moderately you should not have any um indirect consequence from using this or any side effects right as a mom i was just thinking listen my child has a diarrhea and the first thing i should do is oh it's getting bad i need to take him to the hospital which is what i did so my first thing my mommy brain kicked in and that's what i did but afterwards the professional side of me kicked in and said you know what but you should know these things because you did <laughs> you did pediatric nutrition so you should be aware of what you should do for your own child and that's how I started looking into what exactly is recommended for um, just helping to alleviate your child with diarrhea and uh, you know lo and behold came the um, ginger and so that is what I use and it really did help. So once again, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this has been very informative and that this will give you um, just some insight as to how to manage diarrhea in your toddler or preschooler or even yourself as an adult. You can look more into what things you need to stay away from because sometimes you may not know that it's something that you would have eaten maybe on the road or you may have put your dirty hand in your mouth. Anything is possible. You guys, that cannot lead to you having gastro or having a diarrhea as a result. So you can look into what your symptoms are and also what can help to alleviate and make sure that you look at reputable sources as in research rather than to just Google everything, all right? So thank you guys for joining me and I hope you guys will subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment below and a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Love you guys.